he's not revealing himself to the proud, right? He's not revealing himself to those who are lofty and have high looks and have military power and strength, man, right? right? That's not the ones who he's revealing himself to. He's revealing himself to the ones who have had everything stolen, destroyed. Their forefathers have been destroyed, if they be Israelites, right? We don't know. But the Spirit will reveal it, right? Read out. Come unto me. Do what? Come, come unto, unto me. me. Who we call it to come unto us? The black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And the Bible going to say, say, are ye that labor? That what? That, that labor. labor. Uh-huh. And are heavily laden. Heavy laden. Right? Who is the ones that's heavy laden? Give me all Psalms 107 and verse number 12. Who is the ones that's heavy laden, man? You have to listen very carefully, man. The ones who are afflicted. Heavy laden. Right? Heavy laden. Give me Jeremiah real quick. Jeremiah 22. Let's make this point. Right? We're going to make this point. Jeremiah 22 and verse 13. Because this ain't for everybody. This word is showing separation. If you ain't, if you can't get it right now in the prelude, right? Read out. This is the book of Psalms. 107 and verse. Give me that. Jeremiah 22. This is the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 22 and verse 13. Uh -huh. Woe unto him that buildeth his house. Stop. Woe unto him that. I need to bring it slow. Because of hey, the scriptures say that the mind museth upon many things, right? They kind of looking at us, all these black men screaming and yelling. Let all let, let's let them digest that real quick. Hold on, let's give them a second because this is very important, right? Micah 6 and 8. This is very, very important. Those who are afflicted and heavy laden, right? Think about your life, how different it is from everybody else, every other race. Right? Oh, right there. Give me Michael 6 and 8. Let's slow it down. Let's let them digest what they're looking at first. Because I need them to listen to this. This is justice and judgment. Something you ain't never heard of. Bring this out. Let's read it slow. But mighty. Woe unto him. What does woe mean? Woe is meaning destruction. That buildeth his house by unrighteousness. That buildeth his dwelling place. By unrighteousness. Right. And his chambers uh -huh. are wrong. His chambers are his buildings. Right? Buildings it how? By uh -huh. wrong. By what? By, By wrong. wrong. By wrong. Read. And uses his neighbor's service. Uses his neighbor's service without wages. Without what? Without, without wages. wages. What is wages? Amen. That's right. What is wages? Anybody who got sense, tell me what wages. Read that. What is wages? This is the book of Micah, 6 and verse 8. This is to the weary. Those hidden and lost people. Those heavy laden. Listen to this. He has shown thee, oh man. He's showing you. The Lord is showing you what is good. What is what? What, what is, is good? good? And we know that the law is good. Something that our oppressors have convinced the minds of our people to do away with. Right? Read. And what does the Lord require of thee? Uh huh. But to do justly. But to do what? But to, to do, do justly. justly. Stop right there. That's all I wanted. Justice. Micah 2. And giveth him nut for his work. Refresh it. So that, that uses his neighbor service without wages. Uh huh. And giveth him nut for his work. Uh -huh. That say I will build me a wide house and large chambers. That's right. Didn't he do it? Right. Yep. Didn't he build him a wide house and large chambers and on that same land try to take this Bible and tell you to put your right hand on it? Right. When he totally decimated your people. Bring this out. This is the book of Micah 2 and 1. You know? Woe to them that the Woe again. Woe to them. That devise iniquity. Isaiah 29. And work evil upon the bed. And work what? And work evil upon the bed. Now the scriptures say bed. Go to Micah 2 and 10. Bed is talking about resting place. Heaven, in other words. Like Jacob laid down on that rock. He didn't know that was going to be his resting place. He didn't know he was on the land of Israel. Again, your enemies. 
have finagled that land from you, right? Bring that out about two and ten, Micah two and ten. This is the book of Micah two and verse ten. Yeah. Arise ye and depart for this. So what? For this, America. For this. Hey, uh, 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 Israel, state of Israel. For this. Uh huh. The part for this is not your rest. This is not your rest, black man. This ain't your rest. Your enemies have trodden this land down with the labor of your forefathers, and you walk around here smiling. You walk around here without justice and judgment, understanding that what justice and judgment is. Mayans, Aztecs, Native Americans, this is not your land. This this was your land, but your enemy stole it. Right, this way. So come and learn justice and judgment. Come learn equity. And come learn who your enemies are. That's right. Not that you should uh try to fight them, because uh Esau was given power of the sword. Right? That's something you're not gonna win. This is spiritual for us. They don't get to put on those things in uh, Ephesians 6. They don't get to put on those things. Those things are for us. They take actual swords, guns, armor, just like they trotting down over here. Go to have a cook. Go read what you got. Come on, keep on. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 20. Uh -huh. Yep. For the terrible one. For the who? For the terrible one. The who? The, the terrible one. The worst of the heathen. The what? The, the terrible one. one. Come on. It's brought to nut. Uh-huh. And the scorner is consumed. I can't wait for that day. They gonna destroy each other by their own. Let me have that too. They gonna destroy themselves by their own they own folly. Their own devices gonna return upon their own fate. All this greed and things, all of that. Hiding, hiding the truth, right? They lie concerning who we really are. They like they know who we are. Bring it out. Come on, bring it out. And all they that watch for iniquity. All they that what? All, all they that watch for iniquity. They 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 were killing each other over here. The Mayans were killing one another. So what that mean? You just get to go and just kill them? Rape their children, all that extra stuff that you did? That black on black crime. All they that what? All they that watch for iniquity Come on. are cut off. Are what? Are I cut off. Give me a second. Hold on. I'm, I'm building something real quick. Oh, uh, uh, sister, you, I mean, you, you got some time to hear from the word of the Lord? We're talking about justice and judgment right now, sister. And I want you, where, where, you, where are your forefathers from? Where are your father from? All right. What what race or nationality is it? Because we got some specific things. You said African American. Right. We got specific things. Right. Pointing to. The justice and judgment of the so-called African and American people, right? And what I'm pointing out right now is the fact that our people have been brought low, right? Our history shows the atrocities that happened to our people. Where's the uh, alligator bait? Flip me one of these things. Our people was used as alligator bait on this land, right? All these matters of things have happened. Do you think that Christ cares about that? No. Do you believe in Christ? Do you think Christ, who the world calls Jesus, do you think that he cares what happens? These type of things that happen? Or we just supposed to just believe on this and everything all good. Wow. Wow. All the while, there's courthouses set up. Our people don't say, was get to say it. This is right, that's wrong, because this poster right here shows that. So I want to show you something. I want to show you. I respect I'm enjoying what I've heard. All right, let's get back to it. Come on. Michael chapter 2, bring that out. Okay. So we're going to talk about the so-called white man, by his own work, he going to bring his, his people down. Right? Go to the last verse. Right? Bring it out. Start it uh Right? I'm going to show you what's going on with Russia, Ukraine, right? Read it. This is the book of Haggai 2 and 23. Oh, in that day, said the Lord of hosts, for I take thee, uh, also uh -huh. my servant, the son of Shilatil. Go up there, go up there, right there, 21 and 22. This is the book of Haggai 2 and 21. Uh -huh. Speak to Zerubbabel, 
governor of Judah, come on, saying, I will shake the heavens and the earth. Uh huh. And the heavens and the earth is talking about their heaven, their resting place, right? Places that their people have established. Read. And I will overthrow the throne of kingdom. I will overthrow the thrones of kingdoms. Plural. Every ruling, every ruling place that's established. Give me Michael 4 and uh, 4 and 11. Every ruling place that's established. He said, I will overthrow the kingdoms. This is prophecy. And I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms. I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms. Their military powers. Everything that they glory in, read. I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the heathen. Of the who? Of, of the heathen. What the Lord called these nations? Of the heathen. That's not black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Of the heathen. They are heathen. Everybody that's not weary and heavy laden and as not of your people are heathen. Read. And I will overthrow the chariots and those that ride in them. All the, 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 the fast uh, 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 fighter jets and planes. Right? Those are the chariots. I will overthrow the chariots and the horses uh -huh. and the riders shall come down. Uh -huh. Everyone by the sword of his brother. Everyone by the sword of his who? Everyone by, by the, the sword, sword of his, his brother. brother. Just like the Greeks and the Romans. Right? Overthrow by the throw. Hey, by the, by, the, by, the, by the sword of his own brother. That's what you see happening. Russia not playing with America, man. Oh. And all praises to that because the Lord ain't playing with you. Y'all are proud, evil people, man. This ain't for you. And that's why, and, and they see this stuff is, that this is not for them, and they stick around. Right? right. Oh, no, nah, son, y'all gonna accept me. No, we not. Read that out. Read that out. This is the book of Micah, chapter 4 and verse 1. Come on, oh, read it. This is the book of Micah, chapter 4 and verse 11. Uh -huh. Now also, many nations. Many what? Many nations. Many kingdoms. The heathen nations are gathered against thee. Are gathered against the weary, the heavy laden. Right? Everybody else. Now, they want to sit up here and listen to what, what come out of our mouth. They own history. will show them that they are wicked, proud people. How you doing, sister? Right? Keep bringing that up. Now also many nations are gathered against thee uh -huh. that say, let her be defiled, and let her eye look upon Zion. Let her be defiled. Let the so-called black man receive no justice. Let the so-called Native American and, and, and Mayan and Aztec peoples receive no justice and judgment. And let them accept our uh, 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 weightless words, right? And, and let them vote, right? Let them vote. And, 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 and we're going to give them sweet lies and nothing. We're going to continue to oppress and kill and destroy their people. Right. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. Sister, we out here for you. We out here for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Christ said it. All those that are weary and heavy laden, come to me and I'll give you what? Rest. Right? That rest is coming in these last days, sister. Rather you know it or you don't. Jeremiah, you know Jeremiah the prophet? Ever heard of him? Jeremiah the prophet had his nationality stripped from him. Not physically, but his people's nationality was stripped from him. You ever heard the scripture in Philippians where it says what? Look not upon your own things, but on the things of others. You ever heard of that scripture or that saying? Jeremiah was hurt because his people was just being destroyed. Right? Let me show you something. Listen to this. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse number 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. So even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage. What is heritage? Your language? The customs that you keep? Right? The holy days that you keep, they give you holidays. And they all go back to paganism and wickedness and the eating of things that defile the body. The scripture says that Jeremiah, the prophet, would discontinue from his heritage. Similar to this right here. Read. Even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage. You what I knew in your heritage will stop. That I gave thee. That I gave to you. you you're going to discontinue from it. Read. 
and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. Luke 1 and, uh, 1 and 68. I will cause you to serve your enemies. And I ask you a question. Does Christ care? Do you think Christ, Jesus cares about what happens to us? Did you know that he belonged to a people? He was from the tribe of Judah. Right? As it says in Hebrews 7 and 14. He was of the tribe of Judah. That's right. Make it plain. The Ju Judites were black. Right. It says it in, in Jeremiah what? For, or what is it? Jeremiah uh, 14, 14 and 1. one. And 2. Right? Yeah. So, what am I saying? Christ cared about his people. Here it is. This is the book of Luke 1 and verse 68. Come on. Yeah. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. No, of everybody. Of Israel. Israel, Jacob. He had 12 sons and he, the patriarchs was his main sons. They had children. They went into Egypt. Then Joseph. Then when Joseph died, it was a president, right? It was a ruler, a Pharaoh that knew not Joseph. And he said, these people are mightier and stronger than us. Now, if the lies that they teach, right? If the lies that they teach, everybody's the same. Why is it that everybody, somebody trying to have the top? Everybody got to say so. Everybody controlling the wealth. Remember Black Wall Street? Yeah, what happened to it? It just burned down. It was like a, like, it was destroyed. That's a good one. Who destroyed it, sister? It's all right. Come on. I'm going to let the Bible talk. He has visited and redeemed his people. Come on. His what? His people. Uh-oh. He has, that's possessive. He said his people. And has raised up a horn of salvation. A horn is talking about power. That's the power of an animal, right? The horn. They use it. You see? That's power. And has raised up a horn of salvation for us. Uh-huh. In the house of his servant David. The house of his servant David. David had power over all the tribes of Israel. See that? Read. Slide. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet. Every last prophet, Jeremiah even, every last prophet spoke about this deliverance from the enemy, from the enemy of Israel. Which have been since the world began. Since the world began, read. That we should be saved from our enemies. That's true salvation. That's, That's right. what salvation is. Right. Heaven is going to come to earth. You see that? And the children of Israel are going to be the ones that inherit those good things. Not the world. Right? If so, like was said to Cain, if you do well, good going to come to you. But what did he do? Woke up and slew his brother. Huh, sound like a people on this earth that do things like that. That's right. Hmm. But we're going we gonna, to we gonna focus on you right now. Right? Now, I'm going to show you something in Matthew. Bring it up. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 24. Red letters. Christ is speaking. But he answered and said, I am not sent. I am not sent to be put on this cross. But unto the lost sheep. Unto the lost sheep. Of the house of Israel. That's the only people we've been for. Right. He wants us to turn from our sins. Right? It's up in the air. Oh, who can, you know, it's, it's anybody can take it. But only the weary. Those that labor, heavy laden, haven't received any justice and judgment. Retire and die. Serving all day and die. Those are the ones who the Lord going to reveal his word to. Right. But I want to show you something further. Watch this now. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Right? Bring it. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Go to 45 but it shall come to pass. If thou will not argue. If you don't listen. Now, uh, 29 and 1. Now, Moses is speaking to the children of Israel, right? Bring this out. This is the book of Deuteronomy 29 and verse 1. These are the words of the covenant uh -huh. which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. Who is Moses talking to? To the children of Israel. Who is Moses only focus and concern? The children of Israel. Read. But it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken uh -huh. unto the voice of the Lord 
thy God uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, Read. which I command thee this day, mm -hmm. that all these curses, all these what? All, all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Daniel chapter 9. Bring this up. 45. 45. This Deuteronomy 28 and verse 45. Uh -huh. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. These curses going to chase you wherever you go. They coming. And overtake thee. Uh huh. Till thou be destroyed. It's like somebody running from their mom, running away from home. Right? It's like so don't pull her away, sister. Don't pull her away. Give us some set, give us some time. Ah, uh, see that? Give me the book of give me. All right, sister. Well, subscribe to us. These things that you let me bring out this one last scripture right here. Give me a uh, Revelation 22 and 14. Give me Revelation 21 and verse. Uh, this is the last book of the Bible, fool. And I'm about to show you something. Just silly looking behind. Not you, sister. I'm talking to you. Bring that up. This is the book of Revelation. This is for you. Chapter 22 and verse number 12. Bring it out. And it reads. And behold, slug. That's not it. Fourteen. 14 what did I say? This oh. is the book of Revelation, chapter twenty-two and verse fourteen. Mm -hmm. Blessed are they that do His commandments. Blessed are they that do His commandments. That they may have right to the tree of life. Tree of life is going back to immortality. That's what that's talking about, right? You have to eat off the word now. That's the manifestation right now. That's the tree, which is Yahusha, Christ, Jesus. Right, you have to eat off of those fruits hey, so that you can grow and understand this thing. Right, that is the law, statutes, and commandments. That's the only way that you can have that. Don't you see that we in the last days? Since I'm gonna ask you this one more question: We're in the last days, wars and rumors of wars. All these things are playing out. We just brought out a prophecy in Haggai. It says that every man, every man is gonna bring down the strength of the kingdoms by the sword of his own brother. Russia is the same caucus. Evil, vile people is what just walked across the street. That's the same people. Russia in America, Ukraine and Russia, they all the same. And what are they doing? Fighting with each other. Right? If they was a peaceable people, would they have ceased to fight? Even the Lord said, even James in the New Testament, you want to talk about New Testament says what? It says, where, what come these wars and, and, and wars and fighting amongst you? Why they don't take hold of that? They got everything. They ain't from the streets and from the mud like us. Why they killing each other? See that? That's a message, sister. You have to keep these commandments. No pork, shrimp, crab, like go back. It's not old. They say that it's old testament. It ain't no difference. You have to eat off both the milk in the old and the milk in the new. That's right.